Hello, friends. Welcome to a weekly word with Pastor Nate. This is my chance to check in with you to let you know what's happening here in our congregation and to invite you to reflect with me on this next week's scripture lesson that we'll hear uh, proclaimed in worship on Sunday. I uh, want to remind you and uh, invite you to worship with us each Wednesday evening during this season of Lent. We worship at noon and at 6 30. Uh, with a meal, and uh, all are welcome. We'd love to see you there. Uh, I also want to encourage you to give as generously as you're able to our congregation, uh, to uh, our special Lenten offering. All of our Lenten, Lenten offerings will go to support our partners at Habitat for Humanity. Uh, finally, I want to uh, put on your radar, if it's not there already, Holy Week. Uh, Lent will be drawing to a close before you know it, and will be in the thick of Holy Week. This, of course, is the most holy time of the year when we remember Jesus' betrayal, his uh, death, and uh, we celebrate with Christians all over the world uh, his resurrection. So we will gather at 6.30 on Maundy Thursday, the uh, 28th of March, and uh, we'll gather for a dinner, and we will have our worship in the context of that dinner. Uh, we'll gather on Good Friday, also at 6.30, for a Good Friday service. Uh, we'll do a Stations of the Cross, led by our youth, the youth of our congregation, on the 29th of March, also at 6.30. Uh, on the 30th of March, at 6.30, we'll gather together for the great vigil of Easter. This is the high point of the Christian year uh, when we uh, mark a transition from darkness to light, from death to life. We hear the story of salvation anew. We welcome new members into our midst. Uh, we remember our baptism and we rejoice in the joy of the resurrection of Jesus and begin uh, the great 50-day feast of Easter. And then on Easter Sunday, we'll gather uh, at 8.30 and at 11 with a, an Easter breakfast in between at about 10 o'clock. So we hope you'll join us for Holy Week to worship and rejoice in Jesus' saving death and resurrection. We continue during this uh, Lenten season, what remains of it, uh, to explore the theme of covenant. And this next week we have a uh, a kind of strange but significant lesson from the book of Numbers, the 21st chapter of Numbers. This is a story about the people of Israel who turn away from the Lord in the wilderness, and uh, serpents, fiery serpents, come among them and are dealing death left and right. So the Lord instructs Moses to put a serpent on a pole and lifts it up, and whoever looks at the serpent on the pole is cured, is healed of uh, death delivered from death. And on the one hand, this is an incredibly curious and strange story, uh, but on the other hand, it communicates to us a basic human truth that uh, it's almost always the case that when something is killing us, when it's sucking the life out of us, we need to attend to that thing in order to save our lives. And we remember through this lesson that even in covenant, uh, even in covenant with God, uh, the power of sin and death is not yet removed from our lives, and we still need renewal in our midst. Often, uh, we have to look to what is harming us in order to be healed. Uh, we have to voluntarily confront what we're afraid of in order to be made stronger and braver and less likely to engage in destructive behavior in the future. Uh, the opposite of ignoring the problem. So our scripture lesson this week tells us that on the one hand, we can ignore sin. On the other, we can despair and wallow in our sin. But the Holy Spirit is telling us that God has given us a means of deliverance, and we're called to look to that means of deliverance. I look forward to exploring this scripture with you more on Sunday, and uh, I invite you to pray with me. Oh God, rich in mercy, 
by the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up this fallen world and rescued us from the hopelessness of death. Lead us into your light, that all our deeds may reflect your love through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'll see you Sunday.